Hello and welcome to another live stream with me, Foxy Dotel, here on my new VIP patron server, which is Bedrock Edition, and I've not got very much at all. This server's been running since 12 p.m. today. It is now 6 p.m. GMT, and a lot of people are on. And a lot of people have been doing a lot of things. And I even spent a couple of hours earlier on doing a few bits and bobs myself. Now, I'm not in voice chat with the server people at the minute. I probably will do that in a little bit. But I first want to go over what we've been doing and what, have I, what I've been up to. But before I do that, we've got people in the chat that I need to say hello to. So, let's say hello to Miss Brittany, the mic on switch dispatcher 96 snowy horned owl. We've got Bubba Guy 2 and Yretto. And B Silver B and Slim Focus and Commander Kevin and Extreme Game DNA of all there in the chat at the moment saying hello. How are you doing? How's it been? It's been a while since I've done a Minecraft live stream. In fact, the last Minecraft live stream I did was on the Truly Bedrock stream day. Speaking of which, we're having a Truly Bedrock stream day next week. Woohoo! Next Sunday, to be precise, for our one year anniversary of Truly Bedrock. That's right, Truly Bedrock is going to have been around for an entire year as of next. Sunday and I've got noises already in my ear. We've got hello I am CXX has followed. Thank you very much. Mitz is here as well in the chat saying hey and so is Al Alizarion. I can never say your name. Sorry mate. It's accident for saying it wrong. So yeah I spent a long time earlier a couple of hours doing some digging. Basically there's a big hole here and it went a long way and there's loads and loads of caves under there and as a result because the thing is, right, when you start a new world and you've not got much, you're running around with a stone pickaxe and you just can't go past anything you can pick up. So I was going past coal and I couldn't leave it alone, which means I've now got over a, <laughs> a stack of coal blocks. I've also got a whole load of iron because we're in a um, extreme hills. I've got some emeralds. I've got some redstone and some lapis as well. And only two diamonds, not even enough diamonds to make a pickaxe. So I've made this little hole in the hill. And the reason I made this hole in the hill here is because I really like... The, I went to fly then with my Elytra. Obviously, I haven't got any Elytra because it's day one, mate. So I went to fly. <laughs> so, yeah, I really, really like this area here. I love it. I think it's very, very nice. And Geraldo has followed as well. Thank you very much. And it, I think this has the opportunity to make a really nice base area. But the problem is... And it is a bit of a problem. This is a patron server, and me being Foxy Hotel, I don't really spend a great deal of my own time playing on these things. To be honest with you, the last one that was running for almost a year, I think I did about three videos on and visited about five times, which isn't very good of me. Bad Foxy Hotel, but, you know, I've got my series, and I've got my channels, and I've got my things to do. So as much as I want to be an active part of it, and I want to stay involved, chances are I'm not going to be able to be 100% available on this world. So it's very unlikely that I'm going to be building a big base. So I think it would be really nice if somebody would like to build here, someone, one of my VIP patrons would like to build over here a nice base that I can share because it's beautiful. We've got such lovely, beautiful mountains. Just over that one, there's an ice biome as well. And yeah, so all I've done is, oh, Pontin Plays has subscribed for four months saying, hey, Fox in chat. Hi, Pontin Plays. Thank you very much. So yeah, I would really like it if somebody would come along and make this their base area that I can share. So I've got this little hole in the wall here, which is my like temporary base. And I'll probably come and like spruce it up a little bit at some point, but not today. Today, what I want to do is go over to the world spawn area and start helping to basically build a spawn building with like stuff that people can, can use when they join the game. But before I do that, let's check the chat. What's going on? We've got lots of hellos. Do you know when PS4 will get realms? I've no idea. Not a clue. Um, yeah, and and that's about it. Everyone else is just saying hello. So hello, everybody. Oh, sorry, pig. Hello. Your, your dinner at the minute, because food is in short supply. That's another thing I wanted to get set up today. And if you're wondering what this is, I thought it'd be really nice if coming out of my front door, I had a row of trees to walk down as uh, as I went in. So that is like my entrance to my base, if you like, is a, a wooded little, uh, little thing like that. So I'm going to grab some stuff. I'm going to get some lapis, because people will need that for enchanting. I'm going to grab, I'll leave myself a few blocks of coal. Grab a little bit of iron, take a load of cobble, because we can build out of that straight away. That's fine. I don't think I want anything else. Maybe some andesite. 
and I don't really have a great deal uh, a great deal else I can build with. So what have I, I've got a bit some wood in here. Let's grab some wood and let's get over to the spawn point. Woo! And the real deal pick has found some diamonds. Let's get over to spawn and start building a little spawn hut area and some farms and things like that. So for this world, I believe that has been discussed between all of the people that are playing that the, the shopping area and the main area, if you like, will be at world spawn, which is pretty much zero, zero. And there are a few command blocks and things like that running on this. We've got one player sleeping. We have a wither killer for if you've got a, a loose wither and it's gone wrong, there's an emergency thing you can do to get rid of it. We've got, um, what else have we got? Uh, what's the other? Oh, thunder shrine. And that's about it. We do have mob despawning an add-on that was made by somebody called Xenon, who's in my, I think it's Xenon or Xeron, in my uh, Discord. However, they've been <laughs> messaging me today, a little bit late today, but they've been messaging me today saying it's probably not going to work on the server due to simulation distance and stuff like that. So that's not a big problem. It really doesn't matter about that. And I feel like I'm going the wrong way. No, I'm not going the wrong way. I'm going the right way. Slim Focus says, are we allowed the seed for this? Yeah, sure. Of course you can. You can have it with pleasure. All you've got to do, right? <laughs> Sign up to my Patreon and then you can access it and you can get the seed. No, anyone can have the seed. I haven't listed it online, but if anyone wants to share it, they're more than welcome to. I, I'm not keeping it a secret. It's not a problem at all. And Lofty says, I keep dying. Oh, looks like people have already started. Excellent. So this is World Spawn. We've got a thunder shrine here, which looks like it's going to be going inside a building, which is kind of cool. Basically, what you do is you put a beacon on there. The beacon will vanish and thunder will start. And the reason we've got that is because the one player sleep system, I have it so that it basically doesn't keep chucking it down with rain every time you sleep. I have it set, the, set it to not rain for a long time after anyone slept. Just because rain in this game is horrible. I know the riptide tridents, like are useful in the rain, but that's literally the only thing. And everyone's, I think, pretty much fed up and bored of those now anyway, aren't they? So if you want to get some charged creepers and things like that, you can spend a beacon, pop it on there, and go and get yourself some charged creepers. And Diver Cat's here. Hello? Hello? Aeon's here in the chat as well. Oh, there we go. Someone using the one player sleep. And I'm just going to go around gathering a little bit of cows. And then, seeing though somebody's already building buildings, I don't want to interfere with that and uh, get told off for doing the wrong thing. I'll go and grab some wheat, see if I can find myself a village and some, some vegetables and start setting up a little farm in this area, a community farm. Now, this isn't a community world like my last one. The city of Foxton was my last patron realm. That was all about sharing and working together and having joint resources. So basically anyone could go out, gather stuff, and then they would just share it with everyone else. This is not that. This is just a standard bedrock edition survival world. Everyone can have their own bases. And basically, if they want to set up shops and sell stuff, they certainly can do that. Not a problem. May switch to Xbox. Be right back, says Womez. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. And I've... Oh, I haven't run out of food. I think I was eating the wrong thing. Oh, and... <laughs> Lofty's died again. Poor Lofty. What do you prefer, Bedrock or Java? Says Slim Focus. Well, Java Edition, I played it for years and years and years. I played it for a long time before I even started a YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is over five years old now. And all my first Let's Plays and, and adventure maps and minigame stuff all used to be on the Java edition in the game. And I love it. I love the Java edition in the game. It's certainly, these days, it's a lot more stable than Bedrock edition. It works pretty much as intended, but it's 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 a bit old and boring for me, I guess, is the, is the best way to put it. And I guess this is someone's base, but I'm going to steal a bit of their sugar cane. Don't tell anyone, okay? But I'll just pinch a little bit of this sugar cane. It's fine. They know what they see me, okay? So yeah, um, the thing about Bedrock Edition, because it is different and because it does work differently and all the mechanics are different, I enjoy the challenge of learning it. It's like learning Java Edition all over again. But Java Edition, everyone's already done everything. The fastest and the most efficient farms have already been done and the most best ways of doing things have already been done and people know the code inside out so they can they can really tweak the game to their own advantage, whereas that doesn't happen very often on Bedrock Edition. Now, the Tech Rock guys, some of those do delve into the actual code and figure out how the code works, and they make stuff based on that, but most people don't know it. So you get people like me and Silent Whisper and Slack and Prowl and other people that are Redstoners that go round, and they basically start developing farms based on what they think at the time is the best way of doing it. And I really like that, that we can almost be like at the forefront of how Bedrock Edition is working 
there's no one we're not in competition with anyone. There's no one's already done it. So we're all sort of competing against ourselves to see who can who can find the best way of doing it first without sort of effectively cheating by looking at the code. So there you go. Very, very long description there. Bedrock Edition, I guess, is probably my favorite version just because of those reasons. So there you go. You're welcome. That's Dizzy's place. Oops, I pinched Dizzy's sugar cane. Oops, Daisy. <laughs> A lofty says, I saw you, Foxy. No, you didn't. Shut up. You didn't say anything. And Tyrell has followed. Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. And if you don't know what following is, or if you haven't followed, oh no, but Lofty, not again. Oh, I can't kill you. You've got baby. Yeah. Um, if you, if basically following is a bit like subscribing on YouTube. If you was to follow my Twitch channel, that means whenever I go live, you'll get a notification to say that I've gone live. It doesn't cost you any money, it doesn't do anything, it's a nice thing to do, and it means that I can I can tell Slack that I've got more followers than him. So yeah, if you could all follow, if you haven't already, I'd really, really appreciate it. Because I want to beat Slack, okay? Who's Slack, Foxy? He's one of my friends from TV, all right? Anyway, I've wandered off, I'm talking nonsense. Let's get in the voice chat with the people that are on the realm and see what's going down. I don't think everybody's in voice chat. I think there's a, there's a handful, there's a handful of people. So I'm gonna join it. So you're gonna get loud noises and banging and scraping and all sorts of weird stuff in your ears. I'm sorry about that, but tis, tis what voice chat with patrons is like, mate. Hello, voice chat, how are you doing? Hello. Hi, Foxy. You're live Hello. on the internet, don't hey. swear. <laughs> Family friendly and all that, remember? <laughs> How are you doing? How's it going? It's going really well. <laughs> have, you, have you fought the Ender Dragon yet? <laughs> Would you oh, like yeah. a shulker box? <laughs> a shulker? Yeah, I'd love one. And you some lighter. <laughs> yeah, and an Ender chest would be nice. And yes. some silk touch. All of those things that we don't have. Well, actually, we do have one silk touch book. <laughs> oh, really? You've got yeah. enchanted books already? You're so speedy. Right, where well, can I build this little farm, this community farm? It's not going to be big. It's only going to be a little one. I don't want to get in the way of your already coming together nicely town. <laughs> uh, this is just an outline, so... I've already got a chicken cooker. No way. <laughs> I don't, I'll pinch a bit of that. I'm hungry, mate. <laughs> it's not working. There's no food in it. <laughs> You can put the farm either in the center area, or the, we're thinking about making but pretty much anywhere you want to. Okay, all right. I don't, I don't want to get in you, you guys' ways for what you're doing, so I'll just go off maybe over this, by this hill a little bit and go and do it over. In fact, do you know what? Let's do it over down there near the swamp because that's, uh, there's lots of water and stuff around there, so it'd be nice to have it around there, I think. So I'll go over here in this horrible-looking grass and do it here. <laughs> Relegated to the horrible-looking grass again, you lot. Never let me build anywhere near you. It's just like being on the city of Foxton. Don't build there, Foxy Dota, where someone's already building there. Not fair. <laughs> <laughs> How do you even do a chicken cooker, Sir Slim Focus? Well, um, I believe if you go back far enough on my channel, you'll see plenty of videos that are titled Chicken Cooker because I made a few of them. Oh, and if you can't find them on my channel, and there's plenty of people who have made chicken cooker videos. Very, very common. Very, very easy. Basically, you just... Wrangle a load of chickens, stick them on top of the hopper, they lay eggs. The eggs then get dispensed into another chamber, which is on top of a hopper. They, get, they hatch, and they're just short enough that they don't burn in lava, but when they grow up, they <laughs> instantly burn in lava, leaving the chicken to be collected by the hopper, which is rather nice. Quite simple, really. I've got a full, full inventory here. Going around making a mess, not picking any of it up. I'm bad. I should be told off. Let's make a chest. So, how is everybody doing in the chat? So not just voice channel, but the chat as well. I want to know what people are doing, how they've been, what they're up to. I'm a nosy sort of fellow, you see. I need to know these things. It saves me thinking of what to say. Hey, Foxy, I saw you got my graphics card. And testing it for me, thanks, lol. Yes, <laughs> I got... I have spoiled myself. I have been... Oh, the thing is, right, I can't help it. <laughs> I like computers. I like building computers. And I've had mine for three years, which isn't a very long time, really, considering it's still very, very good. But for some reason, over the last year, 
the editing software I use, which is Adobe Premiere, which is like industry standard editing software, used to run really nice and quickly and smoothly, but they made a, an update to it and it now goes really slow and it's just really painful editing anything. So I've been putting up with it thinking they would fix it. They haven't fixed it. So I, th I was thinking, well, maybe I should get a new graphics card. And I was like, oh, well, if I've got a new graphics card, I've still got a pretty good graphics card that I've then got nothing to do with. What am I going to do with that one? So then I just thought, well, my computer's a little bit old now. Why don't I just get a whole new <laughs> computer? So I may have done that. And because I was getting a new one, I may have decided to get the best specification I could possibly get and not worry about how much it would cost because I put it on the business. It's all good, mate. It's fine. <laughs> So I got a really good computer. I built it today and I'm very, very happy with it. I love it. It's amazing. Yay. Hurrah. I spent half of yesterday in hospital, thought it would be fun to fall downstairs and I've badly sprained my ankles. Well, that's not fun. I could have told you that. If you're thinking things like that are going to be fun, right, what you should do, speak to me first and I'll let you know that's not fun because, you know, you can... I could pretty much guess that that's not fun, but I have done it myself on several occasions. So from experience, I could tell you it's not fun as well. Yeah, don't do that, Ponting Plays. It's a silly idea. You idiot. <laughs> <coughs> Lofty just fell from a higher place. Oh, Lofty. I think she does it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> just, there's no death counter on here, Lofty. You're not winning. <laughs> Right, what else have we got? We got Snowy Owned Owls doing okay, thank you, that's good. Chicken Cookers are laggy on realms, right, because of all the entities, Sp says Spartan69. Yes, they are, because what people tend to do is they go a bit overboard and try and make their chicken cookers as fast as possible, and they ram in like 50 chickens. You only need about 10 chickens in there, and then over time, if you've got it at your base, it's always going to be loaded. You'll always have plenty of chicken. The problem with... Bedrock Edition and Java Edition is, is entities, when they're next to each other, they want to, they're programmed to get away from each other. So they're basically, and they're banging into each other as well. So the game's not only trying to work out how they can get away from each other, so it's constantly finding, like, doing pathfinding to see if it can get them away from each other, which it can't find. So it's just running that algorithm over and over and over again. But it's also trying to work out which way they should bounce off each other because they're all colliding into each other, which is, again, running over and over and over again. So for every single chicken you've got in there, it's running two lots of processes every single tick. So all it needs is a handful of chickens and it just slows everything down. So, yeah, chicken cookers are bad if you've got too many chickens in them. Or any farm that has entities all crammed together on the same spot, like cow farms. If, you, if you're doing one of those cow farms where they all bob up and down in the water and you feed them, really, really laggy. So if you've got one of those, make sure it's not somewhere that you've got it loaded regularly if you're playing in a multiplayer server. Ta-da! <laughs> you're welcome. Expert level 99 advice there. I confirm myself. I'm sure I saw a drowned in here a minute ago. Did I see a drowned in here? No, oh, I see a skeleton. Right, what else we got? Spent half of yesterday in... Oh, we've seen that one, Ponted. About you going to hospital, yet? Yeah. Um, always watching streams at work. Says, oh, is that Miss Brittany watching streams at work? What do you do, Miss Brittany? How do you do it? How do you get away from it, with it? I mean, I get away with it, but then I'm my own boss. So I, how do people that aren't... And maybe you're your own boss as well. I don't know. Tell me. I need to know. Pontin says, well, I needed to see if I was expert level 99 at falling downstairs. Turns out I'm just an amateur. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. You're testing yourself out for being being a stuntman, was you? I got, I've got an anecdote about that. When, <laughs> when, uh, when I was little, was I can't remember how old I was, but I remember the experience. So I reckon I was probably around about three or four years old, maybe five, maybe, yeah, maybe five or six. And uh, Superman, the original Superman films was on TV, bearing in mind I'm very old. So... No, we're going back a while, into the 80s. And um, the uh, Superman was on, and I, we, I watched it with my parents and then decided that I, I could probably do it. I could probably fly like Superman. So I went to the top of the stairs and I jumped from the very top and I landed at the bottom. I cleared the entire set of stairs all the way down, which is pretty impressive for somebody of such a small size, but I was in agony. <laughs> When I hit the bottom, I laid there for a good sort of 10, 15 minutes and no one came. My parents were in the room watching TV, thought I was just messing about and being silly. And they didn't come for ages. 
Unfortunately, I didn't break anything. When you're at that age, you're like a rubber band, and you know, <laughs> you're fine. But yeah, don't do it. Okay, it hurts. I wasn't expert level ninety nine either, but I am now. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Swish says, when I opened my chicken cooker on Foxton to take it down, they all went flying. Lag spike killed the realm. Great. <laughs> well, don't build them that big. You don't need that many chickens in there. I know at this point everyone's starving, so it'd be nice if we could get the chicken coming out nice and fast, but we don't need to. Just It will happen over time, okay? Jeez, guys. You're always in a rush. Poor Foxy, says Freak Eagle. I, I wouldn't say poor Foxy. It's my own stupid fault. <laughs> I shouldn't I shouldn't have thought I could be Superman. <laughs> the mic on switch says I was feeding all of the people digging. Don't, don't give me your excuses. Oh I was doing charity work. No. Built something laggy and you broke it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you on with? Eliz how do I say your name? Elizarian. Ali will do. It's Alizarian. Ali. Alizarian. Oh, there you go. Didn't expect it to sound posh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you on with? What are you getting up to? I can see you up there, standing around. Just mooching around. Just mooching around. See if you can steal some of that chicken, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I've got plenty of roast beef at the moment. Oh, have you? Ah. That's where all the cows went, is it? <laughs> What are you clearing out the space for? I joined short ago, says Freak Eagle. Uh, the reason I'm digging this space here, um, two reasons. One is I'm procrastinating actually building a farm. And second of all, I like a nice big flat area and it was all lumpy. So I'm just flattening it out. And it also gives me the, uh, the dirt to fill in this hole. Because if I don't fill this hole in, it's just going to end up full of drowned. Now, we did think that we had a mob despawning add-on pack on this realm and also my other realm, which has, uh, not realm, sorry, server, the other server, which hasn't started yet. But according to the guy that made the add-on, it won't actually work on here because the simulation distance isn't long enough. So so we got we got to cater for mobs not despawning automatically. And one of the ways to do that is to fill in all of these little water holes where they all team, seem to congregate. So there you go. Playing on a sub server, says Live the Journey. Yeah, pretty much, it's my Patreon server. It just launched today. It's brand new, and I'm hosting it myself on my very own computer, because I'm nice like that. Do you know what we haven't got? We haven't got any music. That's why it seems so weird and quiet. Does anybody know, watching this stream, oh, that's loud, crikey, how you get, like, stream music that's automatic but royalty free, and it's just like background music, so it's not all loud and bangy and everything it's just sort of chill out music because i don't know how to do it do you host foxy on your pc too says freaky what do you mean foxy oh truly bedrock uh yes yeah so at the minute they're actually both running on the same pc because bedrock edition actually takes literally no um resources whatsoever to run as a server so it's a pretty powerful pc so it's running both when they both get busy though uh, at the moment, TB's pretty quiet because everyone's got stuff going on. So when they both get busy again, what I'm going to do is move. I've got another PC now because I've just got a new one. I'm going to move uh, the these realms over to the my old PC. If that makes sense. Pretzel Rock Bot. Oh, is that the one uh, Joel Duggan from? If you don't listen to it already, make sure you do. It's a podcast called, uh, he does it with Pixel Riffs, called The Spawn Chunks. It's all about Minecraft. It's really good. And... Um, he was tweeted about that the other day. He had an issue with it or something. Couldn't couldn't get it to log in or something. I, I've never figured out how to do anything like that. So the journey, nice. O the only multiplayer world I have so far sucks. I created it to play with my nephew, but he logs in like once a month, just asks for free stuff. Yeah, yeah, my kids do that. They, uh, <laughs> they don't really want to do a great deal themselves, and because they don't play on it very often, they can't be bothered to spend their time mining and doing stuff. That's just sort of par for the course of playing with family, I think, is you just sort of expected to put the grind work in. I understand. <laughs> Extreme Game DNA, going back to my story about jumping down the stairs, says, <laughs> when you're young, you're young, you're like a rubber band. When you're old, you're like a floppy noodle. Well, <laughs> 
I don't think a floppy noodle would get hurt going down the stairs either. But I think if I jumped from the top of the bottom for the stairs now, I would probably just end up smashing into bits like like a piece of glass. <laughs> I don't think a floppy noodle is <laughs> is the best way to describe an adult, unless you're not talking about their ability to fall down the stairs. <laughs> I play on a server too, but grieving happens, says the Freak Eagle. Yeah, that's why, right? We do these these patron ones, and I I know there's ugh, people want to be able to join free stuff, and everyone wants something for free. At the end of the day, if if people are ba effectively paying, I mean they they're paying to support me on Patreon, and they're getting access to this realm as a part of it. But effectively, what they're doing is paying to play on this realm. But they're paying on a they're they're, they're getting a secure. They're getting a secure game to play on. So we don't let in anyone that's under 18. We don't um, let on anybody that we don't know. Everybody gets questions asked when they join. You know, it's, you're joining something that you're not going to have trouble on. And so far, since I've been doing Patron Realms, which is over a year now, I've had hardly any issues at all with anything like griefing. I think we had one person right back at the beginning caused a couple of problems and that's it so it's been really successful doing it this way so if you want to join something it's like anything in life if you want to join something or if you want to do something and you don't want the the, the bad experience of other people messing it up or you know just a lower than average experience then be prepared to put a little bit of money into something and i'm not saying pay me and come join my server that's not what i'm doing at all i'm just saying in general things Things that you pay for, you generally get a better experience with. And that's the same with software. Like, there's loads of free software out there. But if you pay for a software, you generally get a better experience. And if you don't get a better experience, you at least get support with it. That's not 100% accurate with everything, but that's generally, generally the way it goes. So if, you wanna, if you're looking to join a realm, there's plenty of people, there's plenty of TB members, there's plenty of people that are hosting paid-for realms that you could apply for and become a part of and then you don't have to worry about people stealing your stuff and griefing and you get a community and you build friendships as well There's plenty of people anyone in the in the chat like on actual um voice chat can can you anyone vouch for the fact that you've met new people on here and you've got sort of online friendships with certain people or am i speaking rubbish don't all shout out at once it's been great i really like it <laughs> Can't Who was that? Everyone. <laughs> Everyone shots at once. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. So there you go. Join a community, make some friends. Uh, for the for for the low low price of many many dollars. <laughs> <laughs> hey Foxy says Milzy. Hello, welcome to the stream. New online friends, but also heartbreak when they leave, says Michael Switch. Yeah, that is sad sometimes when people leave and, and they don't go. I mean, some of my some of my most regular patrons, and they're, they're still patrons to me now, but I hardly ever see them anymore, and it is sad. And uh, I do miss them, and I know that's half partially my fault, because I'm not as around as much as I should be. But then new people come along, and you get to make new friends again. So it's not, it's, you know, you just got to <laughs> have throwaway friends. <laughs> What was that one? Sorry. Someone said something. I missed it then. Oh, no. I was just chuckling. Oh, okay. Right then. Farm time. Oh, my voice has just gone all weird then. What have I <laughs> Sound like you were eating something. No, my, <laughs> my, my throat just like closed up weirdly as I was talking. It uh, sounded like a... <laughs> And now I'm choking on a cup of tea. Great. <laughs> I'm doing good here, guys. Professional level Minecraft streamer. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, dear. Sounds mate. like I passed my cold on to you now. Yeah. I'm not ill. I'm just not good at drinking tea. I'm not an expert level 99 tea drinker. I think it was the fact that it's pretty much cold now that made, <laughs> made me jump a bit. Startled me as I was drinking it. Cold tea is not good. No. It's, it's semi-warm. Lukewarm. Miss Brittany says, I'm a retail optician. It's not usually busy on Sundays, but of course, as soon as you asked, what did I do? I got busy, lol. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Nothing, <laughs> there's nothing worse than being busy at work, is there? It's nice when you, you can have a job and it's uh, it's relatively relaxed. So <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Although, you know, you probably won't have that job for too long if it's always pretty relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right then, what do we need? We need we need water. We got water there. We need a bucket, and we need we need places to put the water. And I need some carpet. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just I don't know. And what what? That's not a hoe. Why are you making grass paths, you idiot? I'm a moron. Why did you guys let me loose on this server, hey? <laughs> Why haven't I been banned yet? <laughs> I'll be up playing on there tomorrow, says that awesome KK. I wanted to play today. Well, don't worry, it's not going anywhere. Depending on how successful this one is, it could be around for a very long time. You never know. It could be around for well over a year. It could be a year. It could be six months. Depends how it all goes. The last one was... What did the last one do? The last one was about nine about months, months, I think. And it was really active, the last one. There was no really reason for the last one to stop other than, you know, we wanted to move over to some servers. It was a good idea to start again. It was getting a bit laggy, the old Foxton realm. Because of Mike's chicken cooker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that last round actually was again. pretty good. Say again, sorry. I said that last realm was pretty cool, the muse museum and all that. Yeah, like yeah, the museum that Auntie Dizzy did was amazing. I've actually had uh, a personal tour from Auntie Dizzy yesterday. She took me round it all on my own. I got to read all the books. She even read one of them to me. It was a very, very nice experience. And hopefully, providing uh, that it's come out all right, I shall be doing a little video on that to showcase it because it was absolutely fantastic. The amount of effort she put into building that and the amount of detail that went into all of the books and things she did. And I know some people helped her as well, but um, I think she did the majority of it. So yes, very, yes. very impressive. Very, very impressive. And if you want to see that world, if you want to see the old world, it is available as a world download. It's now available on foxynotel.com. If you go to the world downloads page, you will find it and you can download it for free. And you can play on it as much as you want in your own time as a single player world. And then it won't be laggy. And oh, thank you, Foxy. You're welcome, Andy Dizzy. You're absolutely welcome. I see you're hiding from the chat now that uh, <laughs> now that I'm streaming. <laughs> Best mob farm ever on Foxton, says Mike on Switch. Well, there you go. Commander Kevin says, Foxy starts a new server. Foxy banned himself from the server on day one. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Scorch says, I'll be joining once I got rid of 10 nine-year-olds for my son's birthday. Oof. Oh. Oof. Yeah, that sounds that sounds painful. Poor you. Oh God. Uh, ten nine year olds. Oh, crikey! <laughs> I don't know how you do it. Was your son nine or ten? Is he the last one or the first one? <laughs> or were you just being giving averages? There's an official name for this server, or is there an official name for this server? Says Amazing Sound. Uh, I've just been calling it my VI Fox's VIP server because that's how I remember it. But I'm more than happy to give it a name. If I know people were talking about it on the Discord, if uh, if anyone wants to tell me what name they think it should be, in fact, should we have a vote in the chat? What name we should come up with? That's not a bad idea. So and everybody in the in the chat, right, on the on the old stream. Come up with some name ideas for this world, and I will pick the... Well, in fact, we can do a vote, and we can all pick the best one. Good idea. Zug's epic world, says Zug. I'm not sure that's going to win, but you never know. <laughs> Thanks for putting it out there. <laughs> Foxton 2.0. Mm. It's, it's slightly unoriginal, but again, you never know. <laughs> oh, and... Laver playing guy YouTube <laughs> YT has sub, um, has followed. Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. TB Light. <laughs> it's not a bad one. What about you guys in uh, voice chat? What do you think? Ideas? <laughs> None that we can say on a stream. <laughs> oh wow, you enjoyed it that much, are you? <laughs> oh, I see. I put something We're nice together for you, and you just want to call it stupid name. Foxy Craft says Spartan69. Fox Tail says Live the Journey. Foxy Vill says the Snowy Horn Down. Foxy's were The thing is, they're all sort of single player names, really, that revolve around me. I'm sure the people playing on this would be more interested in something that was about them, because they're the ones that's going to be bringing it to life. And call us uh, Chicken Killers. Chicken Killers. <laughs> Anti Dizzy's. Onion crap. Inside Out Museum. The whole world or is a museum. Killer. 
server killers. Yeah, server killers. You can name it after me. What's that, Lofty? You can name it after me. Lofty server. We got to win. <laughs> Lofty and friends. And I keep dying. <laughs> <laughs> Resurrect Lofty. Oh, I don't know. Poor Lofty. I oh, know. You'll get the hang of it lost... one day, I'm sure. And I've lost all my stuff again, so I've got to oh. keep digging for more. You're kidding. Nope. Crazy Craft, Finding Tales, Fox's Little Fence, Pentonville, then. What? Oh, Patronville. That's not a bad <laughs> idea. Foxy and Foxy and friends, Mr. Onion's house. <laughs> yeah, truly onion. Truly onion. <laughs> <laughs> Hands up in the chat if you liked truly onion. I can't. I could never do it. I couldn't make that stick. That's so, that sounds like a steak. Yeah. <laughs> steak. <laughs> truly onion. <laughs> Oh wow, we've got people that like Truly Onion. We've got <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic Oriel Spanish Dan, Zug, and Snowy Old Owl. Oh, the French mistakes is right. They all like <laughs> Truly Onion. Slags end the chest. Wow. <laughs> I see. So, Truly Onion's winning at the minute. We've got, <laughs> got five hands up for Truly Onion. Oh dear yeah. me, you guys are going to have to fight back in the chat. Put some thumbs down if you don't want it to be called Truly Onion because it's looking looking fairly positive at the minute. No, we want oh, Truly dear. Onion. Truly <laughs> Onion. Yeah. Truly Onion. <laughs> One, three, four, five, six, seven. Or you eight. just call it French Onion. French Onion. Nah, Truly Onion. Truly Onion. Copyright from TB though. I'll have to talk to the guy in charge of TB and make sure he's okay with it. <laughs> yeah, I hear he's kind of a nice guy sometimes. Really? Not what I've heard. No, that's what I heard. He's <laughs> really mean and doesn't like anyone. That's what I've heard. <laughs> Always banning people. Soup server, says Wraith1981. Chop, chop, run away, <laughs> Minecraft server, says Commander <laughs> Kevin. Fox's little friends. Why are they little? They're not little, they're big. They're all adults. <laughs> Most of them are older than me. <laughs> and that's saying spinny, something, because I'm, I'm like oldest person in the world. Spinny, spinny, pigman. Spinny, spinny, pigman. Spinny, spinny, pigman. Honey. Spinny, spinny, friend. Oh, spinny, spinny, but they drive me round their back. <laughs> That's Lofty's favourite song, I think. Yeah, it is. <laughs> got it on vinyl. <laughs> There's a pigman in my hole, says Scorch 1973. <laughs> Commander Kevin. Oh, Freaky Evil. Freaky Evil says, Commander Kevin, yes, please. What are you saying that into? Oh, Chop Chop, run away in Minecraft server. <laughs> is that what you're saying? Yes, please, too. The Fox is Den. Well, there's many, many names coming out here. All all good, all with their own merit, but I'm not 100% sure everybody's going to be on board with all of those. We'll have to see. Homicidal Memorial Server. Oh, <laughs> that's actually really nice. <laughs> if, uh, if, you're not sure, if you're not sure of that reference, a Homicidal Tango was one of our original pa patrons, and he died, bless him. And um, his, his mum got in touch with me, actually. And he, she sent me his Minecraft, you know, the official Minecraft handbooks you can buy, the collection, he had the full thing. And oh, uh, wow. she sent them to me, which was really nice. So, uh, yeah, that would be a nice thing. But I think it yeah. also makes it a little, little bit morbid, calling it that. I'm sure we can do other things to, uh, to, to remember Tango. But thank you for the suggestion. It's a nice suggestion. We can build a big statue in the center of town. Yeah, that's a good idea. Around the world in 80 chunks, as Ponting plays. The Grand <laughs> Tour. Oh, wait, that's taken. <laughs> French onions come up again. Okay, so so what's the, what's our favourites in the minute? What do you guys think? The people actually playing. What, which onion. ones have you heard that you like? Uh, True I, haven't, I haven't heard anything that I really love yet. 
No. No, nothing's jumped out at me as that's definitely yeah. the one yet. Exactly. I like <laughs> I like Truly Onion, but it's a bit silly. I don't think we'd get away with it. I think the, the Truly Bedrock people will be cracking down on us. It's like calling it Hermit Craft or something like that, or Fo- yeah. Foxit Craft. <laughs> Foxy Craft. Foxy's Hermit Vixen, Craft. Vixen Craft. Vixen Craft. That, is that the new one with the, the ladies one? But yeah, Vixen is the female form of. Well, there's there's quite a few ladies on. There's there's um there's a new one that uh, Jesse B's joined. Is all ladies, um, thingy mobile, uh, the server that looks good. I didn't know about that. That sounds interesting. Yeah. Oh, well, in fact, we're we're going to bring the path down this way, guys. I'm doing a path, by the way. If anyone's interested, Sweet Life isn't it that Jesse joined? Ah, Sweet Life is that what it's called? It looks good. I've not seen any of it, but it uh, it does look good. We need to get more more ladies interested in Minecraft, which is good. I mean, we've got a lot of ladies here actually. Quite yeah, quite a do. few in the chat, but not not enough lady content creators. There's a few, but it's still a bit it's still a bit man central at the minute. You you ladies need to get yourself some microphones and uh, get yourself online and make some make some videos because uh, we need to yeah, we need I to even the one. playing field. <laughs> 99, 99 ways how to die. <laughs> 99 ways how to die with Lofty. Yeah, how to, do, how how to, to die to, in how Minecraft. To you could do that opposite yeah. of a survival guide. <laughs> Kill me off. Lofty's death guide. Well, easy. Oh, Pontin Just says that the me. sweet life is on Java edition. I didn't realise that. Interesting. Yeah. Well, there you go. Doesn't matter. It's still Minecraft at the end of the day. Slightly different mechanics, but it's pretty much the same thing. Let's get rid of all this bit at the bottom as well. Get rid of all this. The Bedrock Breakers. I'm not 100% sure this is going to be an overly technical server. I'm pretty sure there will be people on here playing technically, but it's not like, you know, Tech Rock or or anything like that, I wouldn't have thought it's going to be. And that's ex- a bit exclusive of the um, the people that are not particularly technical, the people that just like building and doing stuff, or people that like taking everybody's sugar boxes, reorganising them for them, like, like Lofty. <laughs> Personalised storage system sort her out as she is. Yep, that's me. Expert level 99 server. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there you go. That's the one. Ooh. <laughs> I like it. Hands up in the chat if you like expert level 99 server. Me. I do. <laughs> Love it. That's, a, that's one from Lofty. Yep, yeah, one from me. me. I like it. Yeah, got a, yeah we've got an anti Dizzy likes it. Who, who was that other one? Was that you, um, Diver Cat? Or was that? Yep, that was me. Ah, I like it. Ah, nice. Oh, we, oh an extreme. Snowy on Daryl, CC Delight, Scorch, Dorsal Dawn. Oh, my goodness me. All of you like. Oh, and Ponting plays. I'll vote for my own one. Milne's name. <laughs> many, many people like. Um... Oh, Commander Kevin and Freaky Eagle. Oh, it's got the most votes so far, then. Sounds like that could be the thing that we call it. But, 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 we're just VIPs, says Cold Buster. I know, right? I know. How could we call you that? Especially when next, not wait next week, the week after. The Friends Realm is launching as well. What about those guys, eh? If this one's expert level 99, how's that going to make those guys feel? Eh? Have you thought about that? We call ourselves Masters of the Realm. Master, <laughs> yes. Master level 100 realm, yes. So that could be the Friends Realm. This would be expert level 99. Yeah, and then we can one-up these guys. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, <laughs> Masters of the Mojang for anyway. You guys are really quiet in my ear. Is there, can anyone hear the um, the people in voice chat? Because it's really quiet in my ear yeah. compared to the music. They probably can't hear me. Probably can't hear you. Well, and not many people can hear you, Lofty, with your with your voice. Bless you. I know. Foxy and the Defenders of the Realm. I quite like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. It just makes me <laughs> makes me feel powerful. I can hear Lofty, says Snowy Hornable, that's good. 
Fox shirt. Oh. I think I think expert level ninety nine realm is. Uh, I think that's good. I like it. I think yeah. that could stick. I'm happy with that one. If everyone playing on it's happy with that one, then uh, that's what we'll call it. There you go. That's a lot to live up to. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, you're going to have to do a really good job now. Otherwise, I'm taking it back again. <clears throat> yep, even you, Lofty. You're going to have to stop dying. dying now. One could be level 99 VIP and level 99 friends. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good could one. Be a way to do it. Well, I need to get some, <laughs> game. I need to get some good armor. It's a realm of die. funny walks. I like that. <laughs> or we can just call it Lofty's Playground. Just Lofty's Playground. Yeah. Lofty and friends. <laughs> we could come up with a theme tune and everything. <laughs> this week on Lofty and friends, Lofty dies again. <laughs> Everybody has to rescue Lofty from the bottom of the ravine again. <laughs> I mean, I've, I must have died about 20 times today already. Oh, Lofty, bless you. This carpet that I've done on here is a bad idea because it means I keep breaking the fields when I go in. I'm getting rid of it, guys. The carpet, I don't know whose stupid idea it was putting carpet there. It can't have been mine. It certainly wasn't a, an expert level 99 idea. No, it wasn't. No. Don't mention the realm. <laughs> don't mention the realm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Nice. So, so is that it, then? Have we decided? Have we declared it expert level 99 realm? Is that what we're calling it? Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. I, I hereby declare this realm known <laughs> as the expert level 99 realm, and long may it live. Hopefully, everybody yeah. will, will treat it with the respect and the dedication that it deserves including me maybe a bit possibly we'll see <laughs> <laughs> let's see how busy I get now people in the chat not to detract away from what we're, hello Lofty how are you doing not to detract oh, away from what you. we're doing at the moment but I've been thinking about doing a little one-off let's play on the new chicken block map by Dan Rob's props because he's put a lot of effort and time into it and he's got himself able to like upload stuff to the actual like Minecraft store which is amazing and I hmm. thought I would give it a go. How does everyone feel about that? Would you be interested in watching a let's play on that? Yeah, I got a friend of mine in Australia, he's been playing it, he says it's pretty cool. Well, don't give me any spoilers, but yeah, I've been oh, speaking to Dan about it, and he, he's uh, he's obviously very keen for me to have a go on it, and I I would like to know if you guys would be interested in watching it. I've got a little bit of spare time in at the minute, not loads. I wouldn't want to start a massive Let's Play, but I believe Chicken Block is... Oh, I've just made loads of furnaces. Oops. I believe it's like... Um, it's it's like a bit like Sky Block, so it's not something that will go on forever. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, so, it's something like Skyblock. It's just like Skyblock and chicken, uh, chicken engine mixed together or something like that. Oh, did I call it the expert level ninety nine realm instead of server? Oops. <laughs> I'm getting told off in chat, guys. <laughs> now need expert ninety nine merch, says Michael Switch. I've already got it. It's available. Head over to teespring.com and my Foxy Hotel page and, and you can buy expert level 99 merch today. And you can have it delivered as soon as it's ready. How do you feel about that, mate? Eh? Yeah, I got mine. Yeah, Lofty's got some. I've got some. I got I've got a really nice uh, expert level 99 hoodie. <laughs> People that did a competition on my live stream before Christmas will also have them soon, but they haven't turned up yet, guys. I'm not. I haven't forgotten. They're all been ordered. They're on their way. Okay. Uh, we need to put a. Where's spawn? Is this spawn here? Yes, I think so. Right next right. to the thunder shrine. Right. Yeah. I'll put a, a sign on the thunder shrine then. Say, this. Realm, <coughs> no server, <laughs> will be known as the expert level 99, 99 server. Foxy, smiley face. There you go. I have christened yeah. the server with its, yeah. with its own name and everything. You're welcome. And a flower. 
And there was much rejoicing. The, yep, every, the crowd went wild. Mandalays <laughs> is here, says, hello, Foxy and Stream. Hello. Nice to see you. Hello. And apparently Extreme Game DNA has been told off for posting too many links by the, <laughs> by the stream bot. Sorry, Extreme. <laughs> My bad. Didn't do it on purpose, mate. Oops, I've broken the wrong things. Doing me farming. I'm doing my bit for the community, you see. This is what Foxy Notels do. Well, they I'm help people out. Flowers ready for my shop. You're getting some flowers ready for your shop? You're going to be opening the shop already? God, you don't mess yeah. about, do you? No. Mr. Onion taught me everything he knew. <laughs> <laughs> Did he? Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Right, I need to know where chunks are so that I can um, so that I can chunk align the couple of animal pens so we can get so we can wrangle some animals up over here as well. well that would be quite useful, I think. So I'm going to have to nip out of the game for a second and go and put my chunk pack on. Lofty, did you die? Lofty's did you die shop? Die yeah. Shop? I yes, that's one of them. Wow, look how many people are online. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve people online. And it's not lagging. And it's not for me anyway, but I am sat next to the server, so uh... <laughs> how is it for everybody else? Is it doing good? Are you having a lag free experience? Yeah, we haven't had any problems. Good. No lag here in the States. It's good in California. I think we did all get kicked out at once. Yeah, that does happen from time to time oh, yeah, on the... Because for whatever reason, running the servers on Windows 10 has got a couple of little glitches like that, so that will happen from time to time. But it shouldn't roll back, maybe like a second or two. If you see it says server saving at the top corner... Um, Freeze. Don't, yeah, just don't do. <laughs> no, don't, um, don't take anything out of your inventory uh, or like put any chests or anything down, just because it always happens just after a save... And if you've taken something out of your inventory, your inventory gets saved, but your the what you've placed doesn't. So you can mm. lose items that way. So just be careful on that. But otherwise, you'll be fine. So this bit, though, so this bit in the middle is this where all the shops are going. <clears throat> I would guess so. So how would you rate it compared to a realm? I'd say it's a lot better so far. A lot better. Yeah, definitely yeah. better so far. Yeah. Good. Obviously, there's more better. of us on, and it's not lagging. And we can have more people on. I mean, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Did we say? And yeah. that's that's more than you can have on a realm. So there you go. <laughs> Bonuses and benefits already. Has anyone got any wood? I'm all out of wood, and I and I've I need got some wood. Can I pinch some wood for some fences? Yes, I got some too, but I'm down the hole. <laughs> How much do you want? Zug says, I know of an interesting sound resource pack for Bedrock Foxy if you'd like to listen to it. So far, I've convinced Slack TNC, Lightiz, and Jesse. What is it? What do, You're going to have to do a bit more convincing. I'm not quite as gullible as those guys. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I'm going to need to tell him what it actually con consists of because if I end up with some like weird dodgy sounds on my live stream, I uh, yeah might not potentially be very happy about that. Family friendly and all that, mate. No, <laughs> don't use Sugs sound packs as well. Yeah, I thought as much. <laughs> I had a feeling. Was that enough wood? Yes, it was, thank you, Lofty. It was plenty. Plenty of wood. The, the fart sounds pack. Great. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I can't wait to play with that. No, you're all right. You can keep your fart sounds pack to yourself. I'm quite happy here with, uh, with my Trump sounds pack. <laughs> and I don't mean the Donald variety. I was about to say, you're fired, you're fired. <laughs> you're fired. I think he said some more memorable stuff than that recently. But I yes, not get family involved friendly. in this. <laughs> Mandalay says it's not a fart sound pack and it's family friendly. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay. 
I believe you. <laughs> P.S. I don't really believe you. And we've had a follow from Slim Focus. Thank you for following. Appreciate it. How many shovels am I going to go through just making these silly little pens? Get out of my face, horse. Lots, probably. Yeah, it's like my fourth one. It's ridiculous. They don't last five minutes when you're making paths with them, do they? No, silly they shovels. Don't. They sound identical. Villagers saying nice day we're having, things like that. All right, okay. Well, that sounds quite nice. I was thinking um, of making some more Wandering Trader resource packs, so it's not just Mr. Barbecue, but other ones as well. I don't know if Obviously. Mr. Barbecue's on this one or not. I don't think he is. We've not seen him, but we kill him if we see him. <laughs> you should kill him if you see him. Wow. <laughs> Poor Mr. Barbecue. But yeah, um, I, I've thought about doing some um, some more different Wondering Trader stuff and stuff like that. I wanted to do a Father Christmas one for Christmas, obviously, but uh, I never got time to do it, sadly. Mr. Barbie Onion. What? <laughs> Mr. Barbie Onion. I don't understand, Mike. <laughs> Mr. Onion is the wandering trader. And Bandit to Mage. Bandito Mage. Bandit to Mage. Bandito <laughs> Mage has also followed. Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. And look at that. My shovel's just about dead after like a few bits of path. That's ridiculous. Know, Absolutely we need, crazy. We need the en enchanted on them. I need more than enchanted on that. It's crazy. Crazy. Mr. Barbecue with the French accent. Doesn't that just make him Mr. Onion, but with uh, Mr. Barbecue's clothes on? Ah! Yeah. Hey! Stop. No skeletons. If that's, if that's a creeper, you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lofty. Can always carry you to have my back. Yeah, that's all right. Why are you chunk aligning animal pens? Does it make a difference? Yes. Right, okay. I had this conversation with Prowl earlier because Prowl, Prowl seemed to be oblivious to this. There's been a bug in Minecraft confirmed by the developers for pretty much since Minecraft Bedrock Edition was invented. In fact, I'm pretty sure it was probably around before that. It even happens on Java Edition as well, believe it or not. And basically what happens is, if you let's imagine I'm a sheep, right? And I wander over onto this line here, or between these two blocks. And Lofty over there walks away and unloads these two chunks. The game then doesn't know which chunk to save me into. Does it save me in this one or this one? So it just doesn't bother. It deletes me from the game because it doesn't know which one to save. So that's why sometimes you'll have animal pens or villager trading halls and you'll be like, well, I had villagers there a minute ago or I had, I had animals in there a little while ago and they just disappear. And it was all because they the game just doesn't know which one to do it on. And I was talking to Megaspud, the developer, about this. Um, whoa, back on on my original Bedrock Realm, and he said that we know it's an issue, but we have no idea how to solve the problem. So uh, I don't imagine it's going to be going away anywhere soon. So make sure anything you do with entities and minecarts, hopper minecarts as well, because they'll go missing. You'll ever notice your hopper minecarts go missing? It's because it goes over a chunk border as you're unloading that chunk and it goes missing. So make sure you chunk align things. There you go. You're welcome. And Cindy May has followed as well. Thank you very much. I've got the Wandering Trader one... One, my kids love it, says Milnsey. Oh, that's good. I can't find a Pontin on the TB Discord at Pontin Plays. What? Very confused. He's maybe in my Discord then, uh, Zug. Thanks a lot, Foxy, says Spartan. You're welcome. Always here for handy tips and helpful advice. Unless I've completely got it wrong. Which do, does happen sometimes. From time to time. But most of the time, I get it absolutely perfect because I'm expert level 99 advice giver. Pontin asked me that? for a resource pack. Oh, sorry, I cut you off. What was uh, you saying? No, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 it's fine. You go. I'll just go and make a smug little thing. 70% uh, of the time, it works 100% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Nice. That's pretty much the, how, how my advice works, yeah. <laughs> Oops, I missed. Right, I've done enough pens now. I, now it's time to wrangle some animals and get them inside these pens. Now, I don't actually have any leads. Uh, now, Lofty, you had 
a slime ball earlier on, didn't you? Yes, I did, but I gave it to... Who did I give it to? Oh, uh, you gave it to me. I gave it to Diver. Right, okay. Um, right, let me turn my chunk pack off a minute, and then I'll come back, and what we'll do is we'll go wrangling some animals. I got some wheat, but I'd rather have a lead. If we can let it get to night time for the next night, I might be, because I'm working next to a swamp, I might be able to get some slimes, potentially. So, uh, yeah, no sleeping. The Welsh person says, I'm pretty sure it's not Slag. They sound similar though. Nope, it's Slag 2.0, says uh, says the mic on switch. Yeah, we've got we've got a very own Slag. Oh boy, I need world. to change my name. <laughs> slag 2.0. Right, come here, you baby sheep. Baby sheep. Do, 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 do. Baby sheep. And you, <laughs> mommy sheep. And you, daddy sheep, do, 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 daddy sheep. Did you know? Do you know? I listened to a podcast the other day by a uh, a podcast called Twenty Thousand Hertz, and it's all to do with sound and music and audio production and stuff like that. And they were talking about the Baby Shark song, and that's been around for literally forever. And loads of different people have made it over the years, and no one actually knows the original where it originally came from, but they think it all spent, stemmed from the Jaws films. And they, yeah, when people were watching the Jaws films, they'd go to like a summer camp and they'd all sing a Baby Shark song about Baby Jaws. So there you go. Huh. Top tips. Come here, Baby Sheep and Mummy Sheep and Daddy Sheep. Got, there you go. And then you can have a brother or a sister, Baby Sheep. There's some sheep over here if you want them. I've got enough sheep now because we can breed those. Oh, so sheep. I need cows, pigs, and chickens. Oh, I just killed a pig. <laughs> Would you like me nice. to DM you the resource pack and the video explaining it, Mr. Notel? <laughs> Absolutely, Zug. Yes. Do it. Always like a nice DM from a fan with useful stuff. Definitely. And then the world's person says, You definitely need an album, Foxy. Well. Technically, I've I kind of got one, although it's not very Minecrafty or fun. I, I I do I did used to I haven't done it for ages, but I did used to make make music r quite regularly, and uh, I've got lots and lots of songs I've made over the years. Veggie Barbecue's the silly one that I did. I haven't made any other silly ones like that, but um, yeah. So I technically got them, but I would like to make more silly songs. But it's it's finding time to actually sit down and do it. I uh, as you probably know, I'm a bit of a busy fellow. Although, thanks to Zloy XP, I got a really, really nice uh, tweet from him today, basically saying appreciation. And a few people joined in and said, yeah, we all appreciate the stuff that you do in the time you put in, which was really nice. So it's very nice to be appreciated. So, um, yes, yeah. It is. Yes, it is. So some That people... was a nice tweet. Yeah. And I appreciate all of you lot as well, by the way. None of this would happen if it wasn't for you. No, this is true. <laughs> <laughs> I need a pig or a cow. Or a... You've got and murdered them already, old Foxy Hotel. I know, but I need them now. Come back to life, animals. Ah, <clears throat> oh, says Coalbuster. Coalbuster could quite easily be in chat with us, but he's hiding because he thinks his keyboard's too noisy. Because the last live stream, he was embarrassed because he made a bit of noise in it, and no one cared, and no one even noticed. But now he's hiding. So stop hiding and join the, the yeah. chat. I'm I'm using a uh, a blue keyboard and I've got a fan going next to me, so I don't know if you can hear that or not. No, can't hear it. Oh, the ele it's the Element Animation sound pack. Oh yeah, I know that one. I think uh, Zloy used to play use that one for a while, and uh, I have used it. I've had it before. I love I love Element Animation, but I don't think I've got my nose blocked now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think. Um, I really want that one here because whatever you walk on, it makes that sound, doesn't it? Like if you're walking on gravel, it goes gravel, 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 <laughs> gravel, sand, 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 grass, 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 grass. And it's, okay. it gets very annoying very quickly. Jesse B's here. Oh, Foxy's in a good mood. I am in a really good mood. Hey, Jesse B, how are you doing? We were talking about your new series earlier and how not enough ladies are making. Um, 
Minecraft video. So it's really nice that you guys, I know it's a lady only server, have got together to do all of those things. So uh, yeah, hats off to you. And I hope it goes really, really, really well for you. And everything went very quiet. <laughs> What's that something I said? I don't care how long I play on this, I'll never get used to not being able to have torches in the offhand. Yeah. Yeah, torches in the offhand took a while for me to get used to from uh, from. I mean, that would Java be the days. perfect... That'd be like a perfect thing just to add in, just to cure my itch. <laughs> if I could add that in as a resource pack or anything, I absolutely would. But I can't. Suddenly, pineapples is Commander Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Slack 2.0? Who is Slack 2.0? You'll never know unless he says his name, obviously. But I'm not telling you. Got to go for a little coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hiding again, look. Off he goes. Oh, ah, a cow. Two cows. It's like <laughs> Christmas. <clears throat> What have we got? So, Jesse, you know that sand resource pack I champion? You know it was originally for Java, yeah? Cough, sweet life, cough. It's The thing is, Zug, I know it's funny, but it's funny for about 30 seconds, and then it's just ridiculously annoying and irritating. So, I think, I think the joke about it actually being made a resource pack and playing with it for like five minutes is great, but you wouldn't want to watch a video or a live stream of somebody playing with that, because it would just drive you up the wall. Actually, oh, shut up. <laughs> I'd really like that actually, Foxy Dose. Oh, shut up. No, you wouldn't. No one would like it. Ah, come back, cow cows. Look, I have wheat. Come on, please. Follow. Come on. Wow, I didn't think it was funny for 30s. Oh, OMG. You cheeky monkey. <laughs> Are you saying you don't think it's funny for people as old as Foxy Dotel? It's I love element animation. Their late their latest ones they did like the movie special thing they did, absolutely brilliant. And I was at the uh, the Minecon 2015 in London when they they were basically paid to do the um, the intro, and it was so good. It was absolutely amazing. And I actually I sneakily videoed it on my phone and tweeted it out because it was so good. Because I'm naughty like that. <gasps> Shared it with the fans. Yeah, I love element animation. Brilliant. Definitely my style of comedy. Or my, my the kind of comedy I like. Are they the ones who work with the Blue Monkey? Blue Monkey? Yeah. Mm, doesn't ring a bell to me. Have you ever seen the Alex and Steve animations? Um, there's lots of them. <laughs> yeah, there's, Which there's, one? Quite a, there's quite a few of them. Uh, I can't think of any offhand, but they have the same guys that do the voice of the the villagers that do in Element. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. I know the uh, those guys do do uh, quite a lot do of do? different animations, but do do. <laughs> but, I'm sorry, um, I'm about five years old today. I can tell. I think. Oh, pig! <laughs> we have pig. We need two pig though. That's only one pig. Come here, pig. Where's your friend? You killed him. Oh, where's Wait. your other friend? Well, you didn't want me to sleep, did you? No, that's right. Um, only because I wanted slimes, but it doesn't look like there's any slimes around here, so go ahead and sleep if you want to. Come on, pig. Oh, pigs don't like wheat, do they? They like carrots. Oh, man. Carrots Why do they root. have to change the game? Who's changing things? My kids love Villager News. Funny stuff, says Commander Kevin. Yeah, Villager News is brilliant. My uh, One of the ones I really like. Is it? Was it one of the songs, or the, was it... Where they put him in a bag and it's get in the bag. <laughs> I don't know why that crack, cracks me up. That one, was, uh, yeah. Silly, isn't yeah, it? I liked all, I liked all the song covers they did. Yeah, then they got in trouble, didn't they? Everyone copyrighted them. They did that five hundred miles one and got copyright striked. And then yeah, they, uh, they, they were able to bring it back, weren't they? Yeah, not li they just went ah, forget it. We don't care if we're going to get copyright striked. We're going to bring it out, which is a real shame because. I know it's the same music, but it's it's a it's a parody, which parody parodying is legally allowed under a copyright, so I don't get why they were striked for that. It's a shame. Yeah, me and my son love that, says Mitz. Mitz, you're in voice, are you not? 
Oh, I thought you were. Maybe not. Jesse B says, the 500 miles made me smile so much. Was it about getting wood, that one, wasn't it? Okay. <laughs> Where's my wood gone? <laughs> Where'd my wood go? <laughs> Hello. Do I sound like him? <coughs> no, Foxy. Oh. I'll try harder. Ruler Kid is sleeping in a bed. Make sure you stand on the pillow if you go to sleep, otherwise it won't work. Oh, quick, run away, creeper. There you go. You fixed it. Well done. Quick, Hurrah. Where's the creeper, Lofty? It's by me. It's over there by me. I just ran away from it because it'll blow me up. Are you over on the other side of Foxy's little pins? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mild, mildly bageled chip has uh, has followed. Thank you very much. You guys come up with some strange old names. I I mean, you know, it's good fun and everything, but I, <laughs> how do you come up with it? How did you get an enchanted bow? <gasps> A chicken. They don't like any of the things that I've got. Quick, give me some seeds. Wrangle me this chicken. There we go. Come on, chicken. You're coming to live at my, my new farmy place. Come on. Well, bagel chips were taken. Fair enough. I missed Spinny Spinny Pigman. People talk about it all the time. You never saw that video, Jesse. <gasps> I can't believe you don't watch all my videos religiously. Oh, Does no, Slag know you've replaced him? I think he'd probably be quite happy that I've replaced him, to be honest. I think I'd probably get on his nerves with my constant badgering him. Oh, are we playing today? You're going to record today? Come on, Slack, let's record. Come on, let's re let's play today, Slack. I think he gets a bit fed up with me, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> Although I don't think he'd ever admit it. Now, Chicken, like do you want to live stick. with... Oh, sorry, carry on. Just saying like a dog with a stick. Yeah, exactly. Uh, do you want to go in the with the pig... The sheep or the cow? The pig, okay. You didn't know I spoke chicken, did you? Hmm? Come on! This way! Now that's what I call truly bedrock. What, what are we talking about? I'm confused. Can you get a chunk builder thingy on PS4? I don't know. I doubt it because it's a download one from the... Yeah, no, you won't be able to because PS4 will be like Xbox in the sense that you won't be able to use... Um, like downloaded stuff, will you? I'm sure someone knows of like a hacky way to do it, but I don't know. Although I think if it's part of a world resource pack, you could perhaps, perhaps, like download it as you joined the world. Maybe I've no idea. Jesse B, lol. I'm shocked. I missed one. Apparently, yeah, yeah. I bet it's more than one. I bet it's quite a few. I don't blame you. I don't watch everybody's videos. It's impossible to keep up with everybody. I, I watch the ones that stand out the most or when, when people talk out about them and like, oh, I did this video. I'm really, really proud of it. I'm like, right, I'm definitely going to watch that one then. Or if there's, you know, a thumbnail that looks fun. They're the ones I watch because there's no way. I just watch yours and slacks. Yeah. Well, I would, I, I definitely watch my favorite YouTubers relatively re religiously, but there's only like three or four of those. But then, like, the people I play with on TV, as much as that sounds horrible that they're not my favourite YouTubers, <laughs> we've all got our favourites, but they're my friends. I want to, like, support them as well. So I can't possibly watch all of their videos. So I just watch the ones that I can. There you go. Ooh, that was the episode. Kevin, what? That was the episode on YouTube that... You sang Spinny Spinny Pigbone. Which one was that? Oh, now that's what I... Oh, was it the one that looked like... Uh, now that's what I call Music Album. Was that the one? Yeah, of course it was. That makes perfect sense. This week... On Hermitcraft. Oh, Leeds! In you go, chicken! No! Don't run away, you idiot! Moron chickens. You're going to eat us. We're not... This is for the eggs and feathers. Uh, I mean, just eggs. Did you say feathers? No, I didn't say feathers. Definitely not. You sure? Yep, 100%. Did you say feathers? Looking at you, Lofty. <laughs> <laughs> right, the chickens is in. 
Chronicles of Laura says, hi, oh, what's everyone doing on the world then? Making bases? Uh, I'm working on the spawn area, making some like community farmy bits. And so is Lofty and I think Diver Cat as well. And is anyone else I'm up just, here? I don't know. I'm just hanging around. I'm on the out outskirts of it. Yeah, well, there you go. We're all, we're all, we're all, and then everyone else on the list is probably off making their own bases somewhere, I would imagine. But yeah, we're having it. We're having a good time. You should come along and join in. You're probably already here, aren't you? <laughs> no, you're not. <clears throat> well, there's a cave down here, guys. I found a cave. Hey, speaking of resource packs and sound packs and things like that, does anybody know of a shader pack that just makes everything a little bit brighter? Instead of, I don't want one that does shadows and stuff like that, but I want I want a shader pack that just makes everything a little bit brighter, a little bit lighter. Because I find that Bedrock Edition, compared to Java Edition especially, but Bedrock Edition is really a little bit Saturated. dull. Yeah, and I would just like something that is a bit better. So if anyone knows of one that would do that without like shadows and fancy stuff like that, that would be great. I've tried to alter like one, but I don't really know what I'm doing, to be honest with you, when it comes to um, bedrock shader packs. It's all code I don't really understand, mate. I don't yeah. I don't know of one, no. No. The one the one I use is uh Faithful the Faithful thirty two and it just it still sticks in with the oversaturated stuff. But I think that's Ult just something Bedrock has. Yeah. Ultra Min Shader says Greybeard. And now I found Ultra Max Shader the other day. What's the difference between the Max and the Min? Because the Ultra Max one, it mucks about with lighting and torches and it makes all the leaves wavy and the water wavy. I don't want any of that rubbish. I just want everything to be bright. Oof. Did anyone just see that explosion? Yeah. <laughs> There was explosion things over here, but there's like no creeper hole or anything like that. That was weird. Lol, what you're looking for, says Greybeard. Okay, Ultramin, apparently. I'll go check it out in a second. We'll do it on stream. We'll check should we check it out together on stream? Hands up in the chat if we should check out the shader pack together on stream. Weird, says the watch person. It was, wasn't it? We just need one more pig, Lofty. What have you done with all the pigs? I've eaten them. Yeah, I know you have. You was on your killing spree earlier on, eating all the pigs, wasn't you? Oh, yes. lofty. We got some hands going up in the chat. Extreme Game DNA, Insane Papa, Afghan, Big Dre Country, Snowy Horned Avil all say that we should go and have a look at the Ultramin Shader Pack during the stream. Let's do this. And Millsley and Lawful Meteor. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm on it, guys. Hang on. I'm going to stand on the top of this tree where nothing can get me. And then uh, I can log out, which means nothing can get me. That was pointless, wasn't it? Right, have I already got it? Because I downloaded a load of stuff the other day just to see. I think I del like deleted a load of it again, though, because it annoyed me that it wasn't right. No, right, okay. In that case, what we need to do, mate, is we need to go on the internet, don't we? I'm going to go on that website that gives everyone viruses. MCPEDL. I I use that one and I've not had any trouble from it. <laughs> Depends what you download. Ultraman. I usually um is usually maps and stuff. Ultraman's got the weird light thing though. Oh, I don't want that one. Uh, aim to give you an ultra lightweight, extremely close to vanilla base visuals. Original intention, ultra light shader. In fact, this shader is planned to be the continuum of a now obsolete, superseded ultra light and ultra 10 shader. Um, okay. But it doesn't actually say what it does. See, it's got that weird torch thing going on. And it just, lo it just looks ridiculously... F it's oversaturated rather than brighter, which is not what I'm looking for. I want something that's brighter without the stupid light stuff that's not got wavy leaves and wavy bushes. So no, we looked at it, guys. No good. Rubbish. Try again. The x-ray pack's quite good. Now we've got to find pig. Where is the pig? There are pig over here, but I have no way of getting them to you. Oh, there you go. Someone's found one for you. I've got a couple following me. Oh, there you go. 
So sorry, says Greybeard. You will be making me go on the internet for rubbish that doesn't work. I like the uh, it's a, it was a nice yeah. shout, but it's um, I'm not looking for like your no, like a nor your nor bleh, your normal <coughs> shader pack. I don't want it to do shader pack stuff. I just want the game. If there was a, a way I could just like slide the brightness setting up higher, you know that would be great. Now I've got it bright on my monitor. My monitor's as bright as it'll go, but it just no. There's no settings on the Bedrock Edition shader packs. It's everything's either on or off. It's whatever the pack says. Not like Java where you can change different options. So yeah, it's I just want I just want my videos to look brighter because I watch them back and they're just so dull. And you like look if you watch Mumbo and Grian's videos, I'm pretty sure they're using a shader pack of some sort because they're both ridiculously bright and it just looks amazing. The whole world looks amazing. It just looks so much more vibrant and full of life without being oversaturated. And, um, well, I think I think they use the Hermitcraft uh, texture pack or whatever it is. Maybe yeah, I've not seen it on like... Exuma's videos though, looking like that. They they seem to be really like bright on their ones. And I want that. They use Optifine, yeah. Op um, Optifine, I don't think changes it on its own. I think they must add have an add-on with Optifine that changes it. Can you not change it in post? I can, but it takes a long time to render. I did my last uh, two videos. I've done like that, and the first one, instead of taking thirty minutes to render, it took two and a half hours. So, oh, yeah. Ooh, the, which is why time. I'd like a shader pack because then I don't have to worry about putting it on in post. You see, <laughs> come on, pig. We finally found pig face. Yay, got pig. They've got what texture packs they've got in the description. I don't look at description descriptions. And also, will it work on Bedrock Edition? If it's a shader, no. If it's a normal resource pack, probably. But I don't believe it's a normal resource pack. I think it's a shader because of the way it changes the brightness, effectively. It's not like the, the blocks are brighter. <laughs> like, if you wa if watch their videos and look at... When they're looking at white concrete, it's just so vivid and bright. And, like, the sky is so bright and blue and I don't I don't know and the grass is green <laughs> shut up I know what I mean even on the new super PC says my and switch well I haven't moved to that yet that's currently sat behind me turned off waiting to be every have everything installed on it so oh you found pigs as well oh man we got, we've got we're oversaturated with pigs too many pigs. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Oh, no. Quick. Come in. Come on. No chicken. Why? Why? Is I've, I've no seeds left. Don't let the chickens escape. Come back in, chicken. Where's them? I've got no fences. Where did the fence put? Someone's picked. Oh, there you go. Dragon Slayer's got it. Put the fence back, quick. Means we can't get out, but it's all good. Right then, hop up here. Uh, whip. I need some food again. We've got these nice farms, but I've got no food. <laughs> hmm. I don't think we're at a point where we can start killing off the animals yet either. I got, I got a chicken. You got some chicken? Yeah. I, I think I might have to come pick some chicken, chicken in a minute. I've got a little bit of wheat. I can start making a little bit of bread, but I haven't got much. I've not got much at all. Hey everyone, says Pork Chop Wally. Hey Pork Chop Wally, how you doing? Oh, and I've just seen something in game chat. I didn't read it. What was that? We should declare TBS Piggy Friends sacred this season. No pig killing. Why? <laughs> why would why would you want to do that? It's a silly idea. <laughs> there is our 2D2. Is Dorsal here? Yay! Hey, Dorsal! Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. Playing hide and seek behind the shield. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, chicken. May have accidentally thrown an egg at you. Oh, it's coming together nicely. Oh, look. Ten bread. I'm doing yeah, well. Um, I'm, at least I'm food I rich. some meat behind you. You oh yes, thank you. Top. Yay! Some tasty steak. There you go, you got some food. Oh, we've got a wall of um, sweet berries going to be blocking this area off. Okay, I like that. 
So now that I've done all of those bits and bobs and, and whatnot, what's next? Hey? What do I do now? You can make me my creeper house. Your creeper. You're doing that. That's your base. <laughs> I'm not doing your base for you. Lazy bum. I, I know. <laughs> I'm going to go find all the stuff. I need a lot of right. concrete. Ideas in the chat. What should I do now? TBS. Hero work. Hero work. TBS yeah. has done it. Oh, so the Bearded Swine has done a great job on the Nether Hub already. Really? Let's go and check out the Nether Hub. He works quick. Diamonds, says the worst person. That's not a bad idea. We could go looking for diamonds. That's not a bad idea at all. What, over I here? Can. Should we start digging a mine here? A community mine? Or should I go back to my base and find some just for me? What do you think? <laughs> I think diamonds. I found, yeah, I found one lonely diamond, but lost it in the lava. Oh, could Good. be worse. Could be like Joe Hills losing 50 diamond blocks. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, please keep portals on the same level for future. Cobblestone is just a layout. Feel free to help design and build. Open to all ideas. The Bearded Swine. I guess Bearded Swine is going to be taking over the nether then. This is cool. I like this. This is a nice Let's looking nether. Look. Ooh, fancy. Very fancy. And there's already a uh, the tunnel going that way. So I'm going to guess that's like towards some sort of guardian farm or something. I've no idea. You seem to have loads. What's that? So how many servers realms have you got at the moment, Foxy? You seem to have loads. Okay, so my my Patreon... Oh, thank you for the pork chops who were left with those. My patron realm was shut down today, and so was my Java server. They've, they've gone. They are closed down, and they have been replaced by this one, which has launched today, which is my new patron VIP server, which is Bedrock Server. And next, not next week, but the week after, my friend's patron VIP... Um, Bedrock server will be opening as well. So we're basically going to just have two Bedrock servers, pretty much both doing exactly the same thing, but just open to like different tiers of patrons, I, I guess. So yeah. Ooh, community farms or mines would be lovely. Okay. I'll, I'll, okay, Jesse B, I'll go do a community mine. I won't get my own diamonds. I'll get them to share. Fine. Whatever. Yeah, where's your stash of diamonds? My stash? I've only got two. I've got two diamonds to my name. I haven't even got a diamond pickaxe. <laughs> I didn't bring them over here with me. I knew you, I knew you would be about trying to steal them off me, Lofty. Yeah. Magpie. Share you are. Magpie. Who's a magpie? How dare you? <laughs> I name no names. Do you know? Well, I never. Oh, I need more wood if I'm going to go mining. Hmm. What is it? What is it, Foxy? Grab and run. It's like Grab it. and run. Yeah. That's how I roll. Hey, Foxy, I'm dropping you some wood. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. We can all you. do that. We can all grab and run. If anyone's a magpie, it's definitely Foxy's is the worst person. You guys are mean. <laughs> what did I ever do to deserve <laughs> all of these names Foxy. being called? I'm not a magpie. Grab and run. I've never stolen anything. In there was a cave over here. Where's it? Oh, it's there. I'm going to say there's a cave over here. It's gone, but it's not. It's here. I found it, guys. Like, Don't worry. I haven't lost like it. To call it. We like to call it borrow and not be turned. <laughs> Slacks, <laughs> Slacks shulker boxes are always half full after you've collabed with him. Well, you the thing is, again, right... If you're going to offer, I don't just take things. I, I wait for him to offer, and then I take things. You know, if someone's going to offer it, that's that's not being a magpie. It's not like he puts his sugar boxes down and they go rummaging through and taking the shiny <coughs> things. I've never done that. But he, I just, you know, he says, here, take a couple of sugar shells. I'm like, oh, thanks for a couple of stacks of sugar shells, you know. <laughs> Mitt says, well, you won't be playing much. Community diamonds are better. Well, as you won't be playing much. Okay, fair enough. That makes sense, Mitt. All right. You've talked me into it. I'm not getting coal, though. I've already got millions of coal. I spent all morning getting coal. I'm not doing coal again. No way, mate. You can for <gasps> forget it. I haven't got feather falling. I've got to be careful here. Oh, did you nearly die? Yes. Yeah, I did going down a hole very quickly. Oh, look at this. This guy, This is amazing, this mine. Oh, I've run out of toilet. <coughs> Don't worry, I've got more. Panic not, everybody. 
I have more torches. And I'm down at diamond level already. In a puddle. Ah. Jeez. Um. Any words of wisdom to anyone that's just started a realm, said Big Dre Country. Right, okay. Don't... The, the biggest problem I see with people playing Minecraft, especially people that don't play it all the time, is taking on projects that are too big that they they just get... It sucks the life out of you and makes you bored. And therefore you don't finish it and then you've got a load of unfinished projects. The problem with things like Hermitcraft is it's full of people that literally all they do is play Minecraft full time. It's their job. So they build ridiculously big projects and they get on with ridiculously big bases and builds. And that makes people think, ah, you know, I want to do that. I want to emulate that in my world. But it's, it's not possible. You can't do it. You can't do that unless you're going to do it full time. And I say full time, even as somebody that maybe doesn't work, to play Minecraft full time, you've got to put sort of nine, well, six to nine hours a day into it. Now, I don't. I'm part time, so I don't sort of set myself challenges that big. So set yourself, set yourself maybe a little plan of what you want to try and achieve and an area you want to try and achieve it in. But don't, don't go, don't go big. Unless you're working with other people and you can do it together and share the load. TB Season Zero, you just shared Slack shop, right? Yeah, I, I just borrowed his shop and moved all of his stuff into a chest at the front. Because I had more things to sell than him, you see. So I needed more space in his shop. But he did, I don't think he minded. <laughs> Is that why you charged you rent? <laughs> Is that why I charged you rent? Yeah, I, yeah, well, I, think, yeah I, I stole his room as well uh, for my bedroom, yeah. Yeah, it was a community room, you see. He made this room for the community, and I was the community, so I built my bedroom in it, and then he said, I'm not the community, I'm not allowed to use it. Apparently, it wasn't for me. Borrowed equals stolen, says the worst person. God, I don't, I don't understand it, you guys. <laughs> How do I... <laughs> Why am I always the one getting in trouble? Jesse B said, it's crazy how much time hermits actually spend playing to make those huge projects. Absolutely. And it's not just the time they spend building it, is it either. It's the resource gathering as well, which takes absolutely forever. I spent um, yesterday six hours digging a nether tunnel and mining a little bit of a nether fortress away in order to create a platform. I haven't finished the video yet that that's going into. That's probably like a quarter of the video that I'm going to be doing. And I don't normally do big projects or big things like that, but I need I needed to do it for this particular video and it's took forever, but fortunately I had a full weekend free to be able to do it. But not everybody has that level of time. So, yeah, just, just be careful. AS Gaming 111 has followed. Thank you very much. I think a lot of the people on TB are probably suffering from the same thing at the minute, taking on huge projects and then realising there isn't actually just enough time in the day to do it all. Mumbo plays for around 12 hours a day. Well, there you go, you see. That's a long time to be sitting at a computer screen. It is, absolutely. But if it's your job, it's your job. Well, there is that, I guess. Every time you say job, Foxy, all I hear is Mr. Barbecue. <laughs> Got any jobs, mate? Ah, oh, yeah, sweet! How do you like me llamas? Don't ask where they came from. <gasps> <gasps> fire! <laughs> Mini fire! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> close. He's Mr. Barbecue as well. <laughs> yep. No, that's impossible. You, you see him in two places at once. Is, is Mr. Barbecue on this realm? I don't know if he was in the resource pack or not, was he? I think I saw it on there when you were going through there. Oh, really? Yeah. I just said that you're, that you're Mr. Barbecue, Foxy No Tail. No, I'm not. He sat next to me watching. Aren't you, Mr. Too. Barbecue? Oh, good day, mate. Oh. I'm watching Foxy play on this realm. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> that didn't even sound okay, Australian. Thank okay, thank you. Weird. 
Foxy's the Jeff Dunham of voice acting. <laughs> oh, I like Jeff yep. Dunham. Is he that? What's is he the imp it, impression? He's the puppet guy. The puppet guy. All oh, right, okay. The ventriloquist. Oh, I love ventriloquists. I'd love to be a ventriloquist. Oh, if only so I funny. I can almost speak with my mouth shut, but it, nobody can understand what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think the, the trick is to like just have your mouth slightly open, but then all your your the, the, the letters don't quite come out right, do they? Uh, they I think they said like when you're doing that, you have to find a a sound of a letter that matches close to the one you're using that doesn't use the movement of the lips or something like that. I'm gonna try it now. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, I found diamonds! <laughs> Yay! Right, I'm gonna try. What shall I say? Give me a sentence to say, and I'll try and do it as if I was. Well, like without moving my mouth, and I know I haven't got a face breath cam. You just have to believe me. But yeah, give me a sentence to say, and I'll uh, I'll do my best. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? <laughs> <laughs> How now, brown cow? Ha! How now, brown cow? That's a nice brown cow you got there. I can say this: I had her her hips. <laughs> I'd stick with being Mr. Barbecue and Chicken McChicken. <laughs> Don't quit your day okay. job, Fox. Don't quit your day job, was that flop? Did you say, Lofty? Wow. No, that was me. <laughs> oh, okay. Big Dre says, I told my wife the exact same thing a couple of weeks ago that Fox is like Jeff Dunham. Oh. <laughs> like Jeff, Jeff Dunham, but not a very good at doing ventriloquism. Ventriloquism. <laughs> <laughs> Ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> is he the one that does this one that does uh, uh, there's a sketch where he does one of the puppets is drunk and I'm sure he says ventriculist oh uh, yeah that's uh, Bubba Bubba Ray yeah Bubba I J like... yeah Bubba, Bubba J Bubba J that one Bubba J yeah he lives in he lives in a trailer park or something which one's the one that lives in a guitar case is there one of those or am I thinking of something else Oh, I think you think of something. No, there, no, there isn't one that lives. No, there isn't. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I'm you're probably. Thinking of something it's else. been a long time since I've watched Jeff Dunham. Very long time. And Peanut, got, yeah. Like, Peanut, yeah. Peanut, uh, Walter's my favourite. And then he's got Ahmed, the dead terrorist. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, God. I forgot about him. Silence! <laughs> That's the one. Family friendly guys, <laughs> family friendly. Let's let's, let's not go down that road. <laughs> Yay, we Stop. That. Yay, we got a follower, Egg BV. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Thank. Welcome to the stream. Oh yeah. The house. <laughs> I'm doing good mining, guys. Hands up in the chat if you think I'm doing a good job. Look at all those five diamonds I've got already. Oh, no. You've got five diamonds. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to come and mug you for them then. No. <laughs> Leave me alone, Lofty. I'm sick of you she's harassing gonna... me all the time. She's going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> hands off my diamonds. <laughs> Big Dre's put his hands up. So Zafgan11. Thanks, guys. Diamonds. And Snowy Horned Owl, of course. Ooh. Sharing in the fun. Many, many iron. Oh, I don't want many, many iron. I've got many, many you need iron. iron. Got to have iron, Lofty. I've got loads of iron. How are you going to get I've the creases out of your clothes otherwise? Hey? I you must stop thinking iron. things tumble. through. The tumble dryer does it for me. The tumble dryer does it for you. That's a smart yeah. tumble dryer. <laughs> Laura's also put her hands up. Agreeing that we're doing a very good job doing mining right now. Thanks, guys. Who remembers Sweet Daddy D by Jeff Dunham? I don't remember. Really? I do, but he's, he's not. I don't know. He's not very good. I didn't really like him. Lofty didn't really like him. Yeah, he was, I think he was in like one favorite one of the Comedy Central specials. Yeah, he was a funny. He was a funny character. He was. I 
We do, says Diver Cat. What? I'm, I'm missing things. I think we've got a brewing tram so I can make a nice zombie grind. Oh, you got a zombie uh, thingy already. Nice. <laughs> things are progressing here on the expert level 99 server. And Al Ali is this. back. Hurrah! They work quickly in his little old me trying to find some. Where are you, slime? There we go. We're doing very good strip mining here. I'm not doing the little power coals at the minute, though. I'll do those on the way back again, I think. <laughs> Live stream chat answers mixing with other answers. Oh, I'm full. Me, me ventry's full. Needs a trident killer. It doesn't, Mike. Now, there's nothing ever needs a trident killer, ever. Trident killer should be banned. Down with trident killers. <laughs> trident killers are the, are the devil. Grrr. <laughs> Don't get, don't get me started. Over the rail. Good. Uh, Good. You got any work, mate? Yeah, I'm down a mine. You're right. Two trident killers. What? What's what's wrong with trident killers? Says the Welsh person. <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness. Are you ready for a rant? Are you? My goodness me. More rants. Trident killers are useful for killing the drowned. They're not. They're bad. Trident killers, no, the trident killers, to be fair, most of the time are absolutely fine, but they do have a tendency, if you go AFK with them, to glitch out, cause a lot of lag, and then if you do using one at a raid farm, give the bad omen effect to just random people throughout the server or the realm, which is really annoying, because then it triggers raids at their bases. <laughs> so they're, they're just a bit dodgy, really. Um, I don't like them because... Oh dear, we're gonna. Oh no, we're not. I thought it was gonna crash then. Yeah, I just never really had very good experiences with them, to be honest. And there's so, there's just other ways of killing stuff that you don't need them. They're not any faster. And I know you get XP from it, and if you're holding a looting three sword, you get more stuff. But who's that desperate, really, when uh, when you can just use magma blocks or something? Ah, trident killers are good. Hey, if you build them nice. right, says Womers. You found diamonds. Whoop, whoop. Yes, I did. Nice. Oh no, someone else found diamonds. You're going to have to go mug them now, Lofty, instead. <laughs> ha! I got myself out of a mugging. Yes. I got lapis, and that's it. Oh, well, that's a blue rock. Oh, and I've just lost it because I used the wrong pit. That has to be some sort of glitch. What's that? Got husk running in circles really fast. <laughs> really fast. Oh, we saw a earlier a, a husk. A husk. A husk in the desert. Maddie Ata has followed. Thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying it. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, do you, Foxy? Do you know why the drowned are out in the daytime, like just hanging about in the in the trees um, and stuff? Because bedrock. Yeah, exactly. Is it, that is the only answer in this particular situation. <laughs> because bedrock. Bedrock is broken. Sorry, I can't be any more help than that. The other answers that also work are because they dumb and because Mo Yang done broke it. They're the only <laughs> they're the other suitable answers. Well, I guess so. Yeah, I saw it. Drowned throwing tridents at uh, the sky. Just throwing <laughs> tridents at the sky. Really? <laughs> really? Of course. <laughs> but he was a bit special. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw a creeper explosion without a creeper or any damage, so you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Strange no, things quick. on this server. Get out, get out, get out, <laughs> it's already haunted. It's, yeah, yeah. The server's haunted already, yeah. Anything and everything weird happens, you just say, because bedrock, says this big grey country. Well, uh, you know, yeah. it's what we come to learn to expect from this game. It's just <laughs> it, it's not going to work the way we expect it to. It's going to be weird and wonderful and broken and all kinds of just 
it's great when you're an adult because you go, you know how something should work, and you go, ah, well, it's bedrock. But what fa- what I find frustrating, the worst part, is like my my five year old Oliver likes playing Minecraft, and when things just don't work, like the iPad won't log in or the game doesn't work how he expects it to, then it's frustrating because you're trying to explain to a child why it doesn't work, and the answers there are, well, because they've not done a very good job <laughs> making it. Is it, which is the truth, but it's not, you know, that's not acceptable to a child. They want to know why it doesn't work the way they want it to and how to yeah. make it work. And you're like, well, it won't work because of this. And they don't get it. Yeah, but they, and but they it's just really frustrating. To try and make it work. I missed half of that, Lofty. You've, you've gone very quiet for me again. Uh, they, I, they still try and make you get it to work. Yeah, exactly. So that's frustrating. And that makes I me like, same, dislike my it. Daughter, but... She's 22. Your daughter's 22? Yeah. Crikey. She's the same. She you must be about the same age as your daughter then, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's how genetics work, yeah. <laughs> she expects things to work. And if they don't work, it's... Why do, Why are they broken? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just because. They think, they think we know. They think we seem to know everything, and we and they think we can fix everything. Yep. Yeah. It's not like they listen to. Well, I'm not finding many diamonds down here. Oh, good. But we do have a bit of veggie barbecue, <laughs> so it could be worse. Yay. <laughs> Mine's the same. She has no patience whatsoever, though, says Laura. Yeah, the, the, those darn kids and the lack of patience. When I was a kid, I had infinite patience. I'd often just sit and wait till my parents let me back in again. <laughs> Poke the ground with a stick and be happy with it. <laughs> oh, I found a magma block. You know what that means? Ravine's coming up. That's going to be painful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, we might have dodged it. I should probably start coming back by now, I would have thought. I've gone a long way. I've gone through a few pickaxes. If you like the song that's playing now, it is available on my Discord for free as a download. You're welcome. Because I'm just that type of person that does sharing things. Yeah. Apart from my generous rare, fox. For that. Generous fox is generous. <laughs> you call me a magpie, all the things I do for you. <laughs> <laughs> what song is that, says Big Dre County? It's called Veggie Barbecue. And it was a silly song that I made a long time ago that I um, I don't know what happened. I think I played it once to uh, to people and then <laughs> it took off and everybody then kept asking for me to put it in stream. So occasionally I play it when I'm streaming. Just to, just to for old times' sake. The Veggie Veg- Goku's on a- Ethan's playlist, says Jesse B. Well, there you go then. Also, Laura Statue 2.0. What? What have I missed here? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm not making more statues. I didn't do a very <laughs> good job the first time. I think time. they were talking about the again. Laura Throne in the last one. Hmm. I'm going to drown. <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> I'll go back this way, please. Oh. Well, I think I've gone as far as I can go that way. I guess to go back again. I was going to do poke holes on the way back, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> Shush mics, it's Laura. There you go, you're welcome.
don't really have any other um, other ones of my songs that would be suitable for streams. Otherwise, I would put them in as well, but they're not not really suitable. So we'll just have this instead, which is, I don't know what this is, Ben sound or something or other, I think. Peeps, I've got many, many for the community. You're welcome. Yay. I'm coming home. I'm going to come drop it off now. Hope you're all excited. Yay. Christmas has come early. Yay. I can hear Lofty's excitement is spilling over. Yep. I like Christmas, I do. I like Christmas. I like Christmas. When you're a kid, Christmas is like, oh, I wish it was Christmas again. And your birthday as well. They just seem so far away. And as, adu as an adult, it's like, Christmas is it's just Christmas. How is it possibly Christmas again? It goes so fast. Yeah, but it's exciting, no? It is. But I think we should have it every other year. <laughs> no, every year. <laughs> Maybe twice a year. Twice a year. No! <laughs> More holidays, yes. More time off work, yes. But no. <laughs> Less Christmases. Oh, oh there's a someone. there's a name tag no, down there. No. Every that four years, like the Olympics. By the Olympics, yeah. yeah. For every four years, Christmas. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Good plan. I like it. Tag. Talking my language. <laughs> Boxy Lofty, what are you doing down that hole? Um, looking for diamonds because I can't find them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're low enough down. You need to be like Y level 12 minimum. It's not I'm short not enough, level. says Mitz. What's that? The time between Christmases. Is Laura says, I love Christmas. What about Christmas in July or is that just an American thing? What? Christmas in July? Are you nuts, no, mate? You can't have Christmas in July. Are you having me on? Having a That's giraffe, mate? Early. Pulling me leg? Twisting your ankle. What are you talking Mind about? Mind you saying that the shop where I am have got their Easter eggs in already. Easter eggs in already. I can't believe it. Oliver's still got yeah. one from last year. I only got one Easter egg last year. I bought it myself and they ate it before Easter. Oh, God. Is there another holiday coming up? Yeah. Uh, an American Martin Luther King Day coming up Monday. I don't know. Oh, that's a good one. You don't have to buy gifts for that one. <laughs> They're the sort of holidays I like. Ones I don't have to share or buy things with people. <laughs> like people with birthdays are just selfish, demanding cards and gifts. It's not fair. How dare they? No, it's too much work. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we have got Dragon Movie as followed. Thank you very much for the follow. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Welcome, welcome. We're um, yeah, we're doing digging at the moment. How are you all getting on? So, has anyone got anything that they would like to say or talk about? Oh no. I found water, help, swim. Uh, the, yeah, to, to discuss or talk about during the, uh, the stream. I like to have a good discussion. I don't ha I don't seem to have many topics today. I've talked about a few yeah. things, but I haven't I've really got, got particularly excited about anything. And I'm talking over Lofty. Sorry, Lofty, what are you saying? Um, how did you come up with Chuck and Big Chicken? Oh, how did I come up with Chuck and Big Chicken? Chuck and Big Chicken. Oh, my God, shut up at his door one. What was that? Shut <laughs> up at your door one. Yeah, exactly, pretty much. Big Chicken was uh, he tried. He was my enemy. He um, he basically turned up. Well, Fox's enemy, which is like my nemesis, turns out that's actually my twin brother that I didn't even know I had. Amazing, right? Who knew? Dun dun dun. Yeah. They, um, he, he came to my very, very old Java survival world and turned Big Chicken, who was just a baby chick at the time, into an actual big chicken. And his mission was to try and kill me. And basically uh, we ended up, as you should do in all confrontational things like that, talking it out and becoming friends. And he's been my friend ever since. I saw the video with Big Chicken. Gets his revenge, he tries to kill you. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah, but we've been, we've been good friends ever since. And Chuck came along conveniently just at the right time because I was after a chunk loader. 
and I didn't have one, and Chuck Loader just happened to turn up just at the right time, who who could Imagine stand it. around and load chunks for me. Very convenient. The uh, the only problem Chuck had when he first turned up was that he couldn't. He, his keyboard was broken, so he couldn't walk forwards, and he obviously can only say yeah and okay. So it's a little bit of a problem. Bless him. Yeah, but, I saw the, I saw the video on that one as well. We get along. It's fine. Have you ever thought about doing a children's book, Foxy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> many, many times. I just never got the time to do it. Oh, we got... Did I say this already? John Wuzzer has followed. Thank you very much. Good friends, really, says um, Miss Cats. What, Big Chicken, good friends? Well, you know, a bit. He's not, he's my friend. He's just he's just annoying and useless, I guess. <laughs> Wells person says, "Well, I'm off to watch American football players. See you, folks." Well, I'm not going to be long before my myself before I disappear. Actually, we're coming up on the two hour mark for the stream now, and I've pretty much done everything I wanted to do. I've gone and got the community a bunch of stuff that's now over at the community area. There's all of this stuff over here as well. I ought to take all this out of here and chuck all that up there as well. Really, we've made some farms. We've wrangled some animals. We've done a pretty good job, all in all. So, guess, yeah. Guess what I found? Did you get diamonds? Yes. I found diamonds. Yay! Woohoo! Hey, and Fox Lofty's got diamonds as well. But good the stuff. Only thing is, I don't have an iron pick to pick them out. Oh, man. So is there anybody, anyone would like to ask or talk about before I disappear, before I, before I do the off and uh, make like a sheep and get out of here? That's the phrase, isn't it? Make like a tree and buzz oh. off. I don't thought that was a bee. <laughs> oh, yeah. You said just for today I could be one. Be chicken, 2019. What? <laughs> I can't remember that reference, but I'll take your word for it. Oh, yeah, right. I think, I think that was when... Um... Are you talking that about that time when I get to go and play on the truly bedrock realm, but I'm not really supposed to be on there, but you let me on see, for the day? You, see you, big chicken. He's sat next to me. He's on the other computer. He just leaned over to talk, didn't you, big chicken? Yep, I'm just pop into the room, bring Fox Nutel a nice cup of tea. It's cold now, though, because I leave it downstairs too long before I bring upstairs. I'm too busy watching TV. It's very fun. Watch TV tonight. Touch I'm going you. again now. Goodbye. See you later, Fox No Tail. Bye, big chicken. See ya. See. That was that was that was you. It wasn't. <laughs> oh dear, Foxy. I just wanted to know that we really enjoy your storylines and everything that you and TP TB people do. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much, big big Dre. And Cheetah says, "Can I play?" And the answer is, if you are over eighteen and a VIP patron. Then yes, and there go my games just crashed. Great, hurrah! I broke it, just the right time as well. And Cheetah has followed as well. Oof, he says. Patron server, it is yes. This is not open to the public. I'm confused now. I'm confused um, as well. Generally speaking, most of the time. Right, guys. I'm extreme game DNA. <laughs> nice to meet you. I thought you was. Slack too. <laughs> and well, I, I go by that too. <laughs> right, guys, I'm I'm going to disappear. I'm going to disappear from the stream and this world as well. I'm going to go play with my new computer. So have a really, 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 really nice time. Enjoy this server, and I'll see you all very, very soon. And everybody in the stream, thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. But oh, hang on a minute, I've got to do the credits thing, haven't I? Hang on, wait a minute. I'm not going yet. Hang on. Oh, where's the button for that? Why do they hide it so far away? There it is. Do the credits. Got to say, like, thanks to everyone. If I can actually read it this time. It's normally so small. Aeon, Chronicles of Lava, Jesse B and Mitz as moderators, the followers, Cheetah and John Ferd. Oh, wow, loads. Look at all those followers. I can't even read them all out because they're going too fast. Loads of followers. If I didn't say your name, thank you very much for following. And a new subscriber for four months is Ponting Place. Thank you very much. See you all later. Bye. Bye.